ich begrüße den Jonathan Boxten. feels great being home with my fans. It's it's been uh, been a difficult, been a good, been a long season, and I really needed the time to to relax, to spending some time with my family, my, my wife, my children. Not thinking about the bike, but now resting time is over. It's now we started the training and starting the new season, and you will see what's coming. Um, what are your uh, what your goal what what are the goals for next season? Uh, for which me, which races do you want to win? Uh, for me, I, I focus on the first the first part of season. You know, doing the classics, <laughs> and then later we will see if we do Tour de France because there's a stage with cobbles. You know, but that's a decision we will make after Roubaix because you never know what's coming tomorrow. And cycling peloton, it's not only physically, but it's also mentally, you know, and you just need to be 100% focused. And I get a lot of motivation from listening to music, seeing a movie. Some years ago, I was watching this movie, you know, Lord of the Rings. You know the movie? Yes? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, okay. So a little bit. Some years ago, I was watching with my wife, and for me, it was like this movie was like a real inspiration. So after the movie, I said to her, "Listen, for me, this is a good guy. I want to be like him." So my wife said to me, "I want to be the Lord of the Rings." I said, "No, not the Lord of the Rings. I want to be the Lord of the Cobbles." Yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody is talking about the world Down record. Um, is it true you want to? attack it? Mm, I say maybe. For me it's, it's really something to feel the palmer you know, but it, for me it's not the main focus. It's, how can I say, it's not something like, okay, you do, you get it, and you got it. No, it, it's, it needs special things like a track. You need a track where you're feeling good. And I'm dreaming of a track who is built with cobbles, you know, because I always have this feeling good on cobbles. But, it needs more, you know, it needs specifically training, it needs technique. But to be honest, the only thing I really need is 60 minutes to do the job, you know. <laughs> so you will see what future brings. Uh, this year you, you, win, you won the double. Yeah. And uh, in Roubaix you won in the sprint. Yeah. And uh, then the Tour of Flanders you won yeah, really easy. It looks like really easy. And, and now you're not afraid for the next season? Winning the round is easy. I'm telling you, when you're doing the last 10k alone in the round, that's just not easy. You just keep everything out. You ju just keep pushing till the finish line because you don't know what's happening in the back. You know? Because I always say every race is a different race. And every different race is a different victory. And every different victory is just a different emotion. It's, it, it's different doing the last 10k alone in the round than going with Stefan Marker, doing sprints on the Felotron in Roubaix. That's just something difficult. But to know that, you have to be a professional cyclist. Uh, are you a cyclist? <laughs> uh, I'm a cyclotourist. Ah, oh, okay. Really? Had, uh, are you a oh. I have a strong guy. You, yeah. hey, you, look, look, you look more like a mechanic, you know? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, they, but you're here today, so you must be a fan. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm really? helping and organizing ah, this okay. evening. So, and, so, you know, you know I, 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 one, one really, yeah? last question, I mean, I have a lot of questions. We are just doing a quiz now, so... Wait, wait, wait. What was your best moment? For me, the moment. In 2013. Ah, okay. What was it? 2013, you know, for me it was on, on Pottersburg, you know, when I was with Jürgen Rulands and Peter Sagan. 
just going up and then I saw oh, just like today all these, these flags and okay I said this this is the moment just just keep going and just 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 go for victory just bring victory home bring it to Switzerland okay but now so today you are here so you must be a fan so you know a lot. So I can ask a question to yeah, you? Yeah, of course. Yeah? I mean, I'm open. Okay, so I'm open. Um, let's, let's do an easy one. Mm. Mm. I became world champion in Mendrisio. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah? I know. You what, won, what, what was the year? Uh, that was 2009. Oh, okay, that was an easy one. But I give him an applause. <laughs> <in this one. laughs> oh, it's great. Okay, this one is more difficult. What was the distance of the time trap? In Mendrisio? Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm waiting. Two and a half minutes? No, the distance of the time. Ah, the, ah that was 50... Wait. I was there on the road. I yeah. was supporting you, man. I was support. With the Swiss flags. You have to know. Yeah, yeah. I know you know. I was supporting and the glass of uh, Merlot, okay. the Gino, Vino and... Just hey. make a guess. Uh, yeah, 50... 50. 50 and a half, no, 51 kilometers. 51 kilometers, no, that's wrong. It was 49 kilometers, 0.8. That's almost the same. No, no, no. it's one and a 1.2 kilometers difference. Yeah, but you won by two and a half minutes. No, but you can do longer. 1.2 kilometers can make a lot of difference in cycling, you know, it can make, it's the difference between losing a race and winning a race. This year, this year, I was in the Vuelta. There was a stage with Tony Martin, and I'm telling you, if he just had 1.2 kilometers, but that's just cycling peloton, that's racing, you know? <laughs> okay, next question. What was the difference between you, between me, sorry, between me and the second one? You know him, Gustav Eric Claus? That was around two and a half minutes, two minutes, 20. No, it was two, 2 minutes 30 on Tony Martin, but on Team Conquista Fair Class, it was 1 minute 27. And I had 57 minutes 55 seconds in doing the 49.8 kilometers. Yeah, by 52 average almost. Yeah. It's just this tough day, you know. <laughs> You've been racing in Switzerland, eh? Home ground. Yeah, for me, it, those, those kind of things just makes it special, you know. It's just. Being home, it, it's always going to Flandern for me. It's special, but coming home here in Bern with all my fans, that just means a lot. But you did quite okay with the quiz. Yeah. So you yeah. think I'm, I'm a good supporter? Mm. I don't know, but that's just mm, like I should give you a present, you know, because you had one question, you had right. I cannot give you a couple of rubber, but I can give you this couple. You know it. The Mühe from Gettysburg. Yeah, no. As a present, I will give you this. I cannot give you a reel of Roubaix, you know. It's, it's in the sauna, no? Yeah, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> this one, this was one of the stones who was flying away when you started the paddling with Bonn. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 2009. <laughs> this one is for you, and I thank you very much. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ja, Mann, many thanks. Ähm, es war ein Wunsch von Jonathan, den wir von der Presse mitbekommen haben, äh, wo er die Videos gedreht hat auf YouTube. Er hat immer gesagt, ich habe einen Hochdeutsch. Wunsch. Hochdeutsch. Ich übersetze auch auf Englisch. Es war ein Wunsch für ihn, vor dem Fabio mal live aufzutreten.